y'all. Welcome to third grade, chapter two, lesson three. We're going to go ahead and get started with, actually, we're going to finish filling out this chart up here first, okay? So we have to label it. Well, the label doesn't change. So favorite TV show, favorite TV show, okay? So now is about the only tricky part you're going to have with this page, okay? So says that cartoons, there's nine. They only put three boxes, okay? So I'm going to take nine, and I'm going to divide it among those three boxes, and I'm going to say that there's three each, which means that each box is going to be worth three, okay? So now, for sports, I have six. Well, three goes into six twice, so I'm going to have two boxes. And movies was only three. And three goes into three once, so I'm going to have one box. Okay? So, what title did you give the graph? Well, favorite TV show. Okay? What key did you use? Well, this is our key right here. So, it's going to be each block equals three. Okay? It tells you what the key is. You're not changing it. Okay. How many pictures did you use to represent sports? How many boxes? Two boxes or two pictures. Okay. You guys are going to go down and do the problem solving. You are also going to do the lesson check on the back. Make sure that you look at the key when you're counting. This one says that each circle is worth two students. Notice there's a half of a circle there. Okay, half of a circle is half of two, which is only one. Okay, so now we're going to go down and we're going to find the sum. Zero plus four is four. Nine plus three is 12. We're going to carry that one. One plus four is five, plus two more is seven. Done. Sophie wrote an odd number on her paper. What is a number that Sophie did not write? Okay, well, she could have written two. That's not odd. She could have written four. That's not odd. She could have written six. That's not odd. She could have written eight. She could have written any. Oops. Any even number. Okay, doesn't have to be one of mine. Could be one of yours. Just make sure it's an even number. Okay. Miles ordered 126 books to give away from the store opening. What is 126 rounded to the nearest hundred? So 126 rounded to the nearest hundred. So we're going to look at the next number. If it's five or bigger, it's going to go up. If it's not, it's going to stay the same. Two is smaller than five, so it's going to round to 100. Okay. You're going to estimate the difference. 422, I would round that to 400. 284, I would round that to about 300. When we subtract, we would get 100. So about 100. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 2.3. Come on back for 2.4. See you soon.